um, Outpost 2000. We're going to be playing a tournament for Warhammer 40k. We have one, two, and th we got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, and six tables. Uh, Jason, you're going to get Rick. With various no, trains. <laughs> we got some <laughs> train over here. Ah, damn, this blows. Show you something that I've been like, working blown. on until <laughs> like three o'clock in the morning. Was these white buildings here? The black foam board. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rick and Jason, table three. Uh, so this is going to be the first game played. Um, going to be playing against some orcs, and we're playing a thousand point annihilation, playing for victory points, and that is about it. So here is uh, my deployment for um, turn one. I only thing we have in reserves is the uh, raider with the witches in it. And so here we go. Turn one. Uh, my opponent got the uh, roll for initiative. He deferred it to me, so I deployed first. So I will be moving first. And uh, we'll go from there. So we're at the um, bottom of turn two. I've got a raider wrecked. Um, some guys hiding over here. The guys that were in Raider didn't get pinned, they moved around and then ran. These two Raiders just moved forward a little bit, shot at some Ludas to finish off the group of Ludas that were there. And these guys are uh, holding fast, and that is it for turn two. <clears throat> to show you the Orc horde that is approaching me. So uh, time was called, and I lost the match to my opponent. Uh, just the sheer numbers pretty much dominated the, the board here, but I did manage to take out one uh, group of Ludas, and that was pretty much it. I lost all my vehicles, they all got wrecked, because uh, of me learning something new last night and the rules, and playing the rules correctly as best as possible. I learned that my vehicles can't go flat out and then bail guys out. So they can only move 12 and bail. So that was something that really changed my uh, tactics and my quickness. And even with uh, moving flat out for one vehicle and having the guys inside uh, with 24 shots, uh, it's just number of, you know, just the multiple multiple multitude of shots was all that was needed to get that vehicle to uh, go immobilizing and become wrecked because of the fact that it was going flat out. So that is it. Uh, for, uh, my second, for my second game, I didn't record it because there's just not enough time to do recording and recap during an hour of uh, time allotment for the game. So, but uh, I played against Ed again with the Raven Guard, and um, did okay. I did a lot better with uh, moving uh, vehicles around and and um, moving my vehicles to the shoot, and then like one flat out in front to give the other two cover save. So that kind of worked pretty good. But uh, yeah, it's, that's. I tied up his uh, walker with my witches throughout pretty much all the rounds that we played, and uh, till the last round where he scored one hit, and uh, but uh, uh, no loss of leadership or anything like that. So he didn't overtake the army, but that was probably about the smartest thing I did. Is I tied up his war walker with my witches. Uh, so that's about it. Nothing really to say.